purple hair, blue room, new person who dis. Hey guys, it's me, Kelly. So today's video that I'm doing is a unboxing video. Um, I received a Tom Ford box um, from Influencer, which is a free app where you can get products to try out. So I'm not required to make a video, but I love making videos on this because it gets some exposure for me and I think some of you guys would enjoy it. Um, so it's just me unboxing. I'm pretty sure it's makeup. I got it a while ago and I thought why not show you guys and test it out and see how the product is for you guys on YouTube. So let's get on with the video. Also, it looks like I'm not wearing a shirt, but I am. It's just it's just like this. So I am wearing a shirt. So um, like I said, I got it um, through Influencer, which I'll link the app down below, um, and I received this product for free. Um, so if you're interested, go check it out. I've never actually tried Tom Ford, so this will be my first time trying it. So I did open it, but I didn't like look inside. So we're just going to open it on up. And right off the bat, you see a little Tom Ford. And then the product looks like it's wrapped all up. So it says Tom Ford. It looks like I got the eye color quad, long wearing, multi dimensional, ultra pigmented. Um, an eyeshadow quad designed with four opulent, complementary shades that achieve multiple looks from a bold, smoky eye to a sexy splash of color and everything in between. Formulated with advanced color processes, the four luxurious. Luxurious finishes, sheer sparkle, satin, shimmer, and matte, often the spectrum of intensity effects, delivering incredible shade, fidelity, and outstanding adhesion. Two custom applicators included. Alright, so we're just gonna take this baby out. It's all nicely wrapped. I really like this. It has a little Tom Ford sticker and a Tom Ford tissue paper. I'm feeling ri I really don't need a un lit Hello? I'm going to use this wrapping paper for something else then. Um, so it comes in a little bubble wrap. I just... I'm just going to throw the scraps in the box. Ooh, pop, pop, pop. Ooh, this feels nice and like heavy. Like, I know Tom Ford's like a kind of a luxury brand, like high end. And I've never tried it, so I'm really excited to try this out. So. Also, I don't think I mentioned where I am. I'm in my apartment at school, my new apartment. So um, I'll do a whole thing about that if you guys are into it. But I know you're wondering about the makeup. So it says Tom Ford Eye Color Quad. Total net weight is 0.31 ounces. That's what it looks like. It has on the ingredients. 31 Souls Le Sabel. It's like the name of the cloth. Here's what it looks like. For me, it looks rich, like something my grandma would have. Like, you know, like it's heavy. It's not like Maybelline, not shading Maybelline, but you know, not like a drugstore brand. Um, yeah. And that's what it looks like. When you open it up, sorry for the mirror, we're just gonna cover it up. But yep, it comes with a mirror, which I really enjoy. So now I'm just gonna use that to apply. Um, it does look like, if you can see, it like, while shipping, spilt on, up on top or something. Like it does not sanitary. And it does say it comes with applicators, which are down here. And my first thought is, this applicator, yeah, makes sense, it's a brush. But this applicator, what are we in the 90s? Like, this I understand, this I don't understand. The other applicator that it comes with is, again, this like, I think of the 90s, like you would take your sparkly eyeshadow and put it on. And then also like this cone shaped one. So I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Um, all right, so we're just gonna take this plastic off. 
I'm gonna actually keep that just to keep the pigments good. So here, hi. <laughs> there's the camera, hi. Um, this is what it looks like, very neutral shades. Um, I'm gonna swatch them. I would swatch them here, but I got a tattoo. So we're gonna swatch them on my right. So we'll start with the lightest. Do these have names? Oh, they don't. So we're gonna swatch. Ooh, it's like really creamy. That one doesn't really show up on me. It doesn't really show up on me. That little white, creamy, powdery color. Sorry, I'm not a makeup guru. Okay, so this one's our like shimmery, shiny shade. Sparkly shade. And that showed up a little better. I don't know how to show this, sorry. There you go. There's a little bit. <laughs> we'll do this shade. I'll just keep going. Okay. So there's all the colors. I kind of put them on a weird spot on my arm, but there we go. Can't really see the light one on camera, but it's up here in the sh shimmer. And then that's like a rose blush pink, and then like a really dark. Currently, I don't really wear these colors because like. I have purple hair, so I do purple eyeshadow. <laughs> it's just, what is this? And I'm just gonna try to use the applicators, and if I don't like them, then we're gonna move on to a brush. So, let's get into starting this applicating process. Okay, so I can't find my beauty blender right now. It's somewhere around here, um, but I just am gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer and a brush to blend it out. Um, as a base. There we go. Okay, so I just zoomed in just a little just to blend in this concealer. And we're just gonna have fun, okay? I'm not making looks. Because I can't do makeup. I mean, I can do makeup. It's just, you know, I'm not James Charles or anything like that, so. Okay, get them white eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna take this white brush side and I'm just gonna go right into the shade. And I just like falling on it, I don't know why. And I'm gonna start in the inner corner and work my way. Um, I don't like how this works. <laughs> like, it's giving off pigment. First of all, yes, it's giving off pigment. That's the important thing. There's color, it's there. I just don't like how this brush is working right now. Like, I'd rather use my Real Techniques brush. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where is a good. Um,. Place for me to be, but I'm just gonna keep working. Some people just do one eye at a time. I do both at the same time, so sorry if this bothers you. But we're gonna go in. I'm gonna try to use all four. I'm gonna make a look. Um, okay, so. It's really nice. Like, this eyeshadow is a good eyeshadow. Like it's going on nice and smoothly. Um, I can't tell really if it's getting. I can't. Like, it kind of seems like it's just sitting. But it's whatever. Okay. So there's that. Um, we're gonna take. Here. We'll take this side. So instead of the brush, we're gonna take this. Because. Lord knows why it's on here. And I'm gonna take the shimmery shade up in the top corner right here and put it in the middle of my eye. Oh god. I just cut through it. Oh, that makes me upset. -y. Okay. And we're gonna put it in the middle. Oh, that is a really pretty color. Oh. 
I like that. Okay, sorry for talking bad about this applicator, but like, low key, it's kind of fire. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the shade with the white and kind of blend a little bit on the inside. So it's not so. Okay. This one seems brighter than this one. Let me try to fix that. I'm gonna take the brush side because I don't think I wanna use this applicator for like. Like, I feel like this is good to put like shimmers and stuff on. Cause you're basically just pressing it on with a little rubbing motion. Does that make sense? So there's that. So I'm gonna take the brush again and I'm gonna go into the dark shade for the outer corner and kind of knock it off a little bit. Let's see. Turn this look. It's very hard to use these, they're really tiny. Just because I'm a tiny person doesn't mean I love tiny things. So I think I would just use my regular size stuff, um, personally, but <laughs> don't be hating on these anymore. They kind of work for shimmers. Um, this looks very mundane, boring, the colors all mushed together. It could be because I can't do makeup for crap. <laughs> like the colors for me they're okay on camera they kind of look like I just got a black eye but that's just me um so yeah <laughs> it's okay like I can't tell if I love it or hate it it's definitely just bland for me because I'm used to um do it purple so much, I mean like bright colors right now, so um, I'm gonna take this pointed applicator and I'm just gonna go in with the light shade and go in on my inner corner. I don't know what you would do with this, I guess maybe do your lash line. Um, I'm gonna try to do my brow going up here too, it's kind of hard to do it with this. Um, I don't know if that made a difference, but we're gonna keep going. I don't have any brows right now, so. So, this is so far what I have. I'll turn on my flashlight. It's just eyeshadow, nothing else. Um. Could be my makeup skills, but on camera it looks very mixed in. You can kind of see the sparkles. Looks very, I don't know, like all the same color. But in the mirror, in the mirror, um, you can kind of see the colors. Um, I really enjoy the shimmer shade. That's like the shimmer shade shade. But overall. So yeah, this is kind of what I came up with. It's not the best. Um, like I said, these applicators, they're okay. I think I would just rather use my own brush shoes that I have. Um, I mean, they did the job. They put on my eyeshadow, but I think like that well. Um, the colors are really pretty. I really like the shimmer shade, like I was saying. Um, yeah. I think I would do a look again if I use my own brushes, that's the only thing. I wouldn't use these applicators. The colors are really pretty, um, super neutral if you're into that. If you want to do a nice neutral smoky eye, that's this is kind of like the palette for that. Um, like I said, uh, the two bottom ones are really, not powdery, powdery but like buttery to put on. Um, while this one's kind of pow powdery, can't talk powdery um more like shh. doesn't really come on unless like I put it on my finger and I swipe it on but with a brush it was not really I mean I used the pointy applicator so Meh. but um 
yeah, this is the look I came up with with this palette. Um, I'll do my finishing thoughts now. All right, so I just tried the Tom Ford Eye Quad Set or Palette. Um, overall, the packaging is amazing. It's beautiful. I love it. It feels heavy. It feels rich. Awesome. So 10 out of 10 for that. Um, the colors, love. Love these colors. They're great. They're neutrals. How can you hate them? Um, I kind of explained how I felt about each color or how the formula was, but these applicators, meh. Just use your own brushes. That's what most people do, I feel like. Um, yeah. Overall, I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10, just because I don't think I personally would use it like as an everyday thing. Maybe use one or two colors every so often. Um, but as a mirror, it's nice and heavy. They're pretty colors. It, that's why I rate so high. Um, and it went okay on my eyes. Like, I do enjoy the colors. So, that's why it's a 7 out of 10. So, fun. Also, another thing that could have messed things up is my concealer. If I just did it on my eye, I don't there's a lot of factors that can go into it, so just remember that if you're gonna try this out. Um, yeah, it's a very pretty palette. So thank you, Influencer and Tom Ford Beauty, for sending this to me. Um, if you're interested, I will leave a link in the description for this product. Um, it's probably at Sephora or things like that. I'll leave a link. You'll check it out. Okay? Okay. All right. So that was me trying out Tom Ford beauty eye quad i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you comment down below if you've ever tried it or if you want to try it or if you tried tom ford what you think anything really let me know down below also make sure you subscribe i post videos so editing kelly here um yes uh i cut that part out because i originally said wednesday but it's clearly thursday when this video is posted so I already failed at that, so I'm just gonna stick to once a week whenever I can. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye!